Good morning. It's Friday. Friday morning. Faith on Friday. Later today. Okay. I have a great, um, I, I think every day, like if you pray before you read, everyone's a great one. So a father's true aim. Now this is going to hit a lot of people and it even hit me years ago. So I'm glad we're, we're talking about it now. But what can we do to perform the works of God? They asked. Jesus said, guess what? Real simple. That you believe in the one who sent me. Simple. Almost too simple, right? Too simple to where you're going like, that's it? So many people, I'm not going to read all of it, you know, goes through that, oh, I want my kids to play sports, get good grades, achieve. And a lot of times we live this vicariously through our children because some of the things we didn't do, we want our kids to do, um, which is not a good thing, not a healthy thing. So, you know, how are we measuring success? What can we do uh, to perform the works of God, Jesus said? They summed it up in the law of the prophets to, to, to remember, so easy. He said simply, believe in me. That's it. Believe in me. Remember, believe in and live out. And my buddy George and I, my best friend, we discussed about, I said, well, what about believe in plus accountability equals living out? And we came to the conclusion, this is our, our conclusion, that the more, and I'm a percentage guy, the higher percentage you believe in God's word and promises, then the higher percentage you're going to live it out. It's simple. If I knew that someone said, walk across this beam, You've heard the story before, and it's up 10 stories, and God wants me to do that, and I can trust God to catch me if I fall, I'm going to do it. So, his, here's a scorecard. In God's uh, priority for his children, it's really simple. Yes, it's really simple. I love it. The Lord desires us to have a straightforward, wholehearted, childlike faith. You've heard that before. Childlike faith. They don't question you, right? They know they're going to be taken care of. They know they're going to be fed. They've got a roof over your head because your earthly father, you, are going to take care of them. And those priority is simple, yet the impact is profound. So many times we want to think, oh, we need this profound statement. Like, oh, is there really a universe? I mean, it's so simple, but so profound. And that's why we miss it a lot of times. Followers of Christ, which I'm talking to now, are called to love him with everything they are and to love their neighbors as themselves. That is the primary way to succeed, you know, for the children. Get, get that. Let me, I got to read that again. With everything they are and love their neighbor as themselves. Do you love your neighbor? I love my neighbors. I do their driveway with the snow plow. I'm like, hey, how you doing? We're cooking out. And I love them, even if they were unlovely. So the bottom line is this. God's priority for your children, our children, my grandchildren, does not involve report cards, accomplishments, stat sheets. His priority for your kids is that they believe in him, the son. And I tell you what, ask my grandson. He's down there waiting for me this morning. He'll say, I'll say, Isaiah, remember, he goes, oh, Papa, don't, because he doesn't like to hear that when I'm gone, which I will someday. The one thing, I don't care, accomplishments in college or when he's playing sports, I've said it since he's been a little kid, is that you'll know the Lord Jesus and serve him. It's the most important thing I want you to know. So even though I'm gone, that is the most important thing to me. So, all right, love your kids and please share with them.